Thank you, Patty. We are here today in the glorious backyard garden of Randy Red. Goodwin of Zionsville. Thank you for having us out here. Um, you are affectionately known for good reason as a, the man who paints with hostas. And uh, when I said glorious, I wasn't kidding. Now, one of the reasons that we wanted to be here today is to talk about, you know, as boomers, we're looking for something that's a little bit easier to handle in the garden, perhaps not so much effort as we used to put in when we were in our 20s. That's right, right. They call it the yuppie plant. It's a little bit pricey, but it's very, very self-maintained and they get bigger and more beautiful each year. And I think we can see by just looking through your landscape that the variety is incredible. Do you think sometimes people shortchange hostas in terms of the, um, the different varieties that are available? Yes, I would say basically there's 125 distinctive, recognizable forms. Uh, registered plants, there are over 5,000. Hostas like sun, just like everything else. The on only requirement is from where hostas come, where the Japans, the Koreas, they get probably 60 to 70 inches of natural rainfall a year. And we only get 40, so we have to supplement hostas with an additional amount of water. But the reason um, I think I like them more than any other reason is they give you a full season enjoyment. You know, many perennials uh, will just be a two week bloom like a daylily, but the rest of the time your daylilies, you know, just are a grass. One of the things that I love as I'm walking around your landscape is hostas come in so many sizes. There are some that are small as your fingers, right? Yes, we, we classify um, hostas into five major categories from giants, large, medium, small, and minis. So Randy, before I let you go, um, let's talk about the, the primary bane that people think of in terms of hostas, which is slugs. And you said there's really one great way to, to keep slugs from yeah, chewing the, your hostas. Yeah, the, there's a, there are slug baits you can buy commercially at the big box stores uh, inexpensively. It contains a product called metaldehyde. Uh, you can take that and spread it lightly. A lot of people think uh, if a hostas in a and a plant you put a handful. You only need just one or two small pellets that will attract the uh, slug, um, put it around the base or in the crown, that will get rid of them. And do that on inter intervals of two to three weeks and then you will control the entire population. And then you can continue to enjoy your, your wonderful hostas yes, yes. throughout the season. Yes. Thank you for having us here. Well, I, would, I would tell everyone, if you have not explored hostas, let this be your inspiration to do so. I'm Shannon Cagle, The Weekend Gardener for Boomer TV.